Hello, 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 hello again. Dennis Hawkins here from DennisHawkinsGroup.com, coming to you from Kawagoe, Japan. That's right, I got my nice little mind map here to go to uh, read off from today. So let's get started over here. So you notice, uh, like today, I got my hat on, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Uh, yesterday, we talked about uh, belief. Right? This is what old Henry Ford had to say. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. And I believe old Henry is right about that one too. So yesterday was about belief. Today is about consistency. Now, I got my hat on so that I can take my hat off to the following people. Following people I'm taking my hat off today too. Number one is uh, Zach Crawford. Zach Crawford is a fantastic mentor. If you can uh, be mentored by him, you'll be one of the luckiest people I know. Another person uh, that I want to uh, edify today is Vincent Ortega Jr. Fantastic motivator. Absolutely a guy to pay attention to. Next is the lady of the group, Angie Long. She is the internet lifestyle leader. Okay? Fantastic person to follow. Now why am I edifying these three people? It's because all of them are very consistent in what they do. Right? Zach Crawford, Vincent Ortega Jr., and Angie Long. If you follow what they're doing, you'll see that they always stay consistent. The person I really want to uh, edify today is this person right here. Mike Shinella. He lives in New York. He's a father, he's a husband, and he's a Facebook group expert. He wrote a fantastic ebook. Why am I edifying Mike? Well, Mike as I said, he's a father, okay? He's really, you know, doing all he can to raise his uh, his uh, child. And that means he's working a lot. He's working a really hard job. I would say uh, it's rather, you know, sometimes can be a dangerous job, right? He puts a lot of hours over there. But he still comes home, and he does all that's necessary to keep building his Internet business. Also, as I said, he's somewhat of a Facebook group expert, right? So he stays very consistent with what he does in Facebook. Now, if you don't know what you're doing in Facebook, you can actually land in Facebook jail. I didn't know there was even such a thing as Facebook jail until Mike pointed it out. So if you get a chance, Google him up, go on over there and check out his ebook. He can keep you out of Facebook jail. All right. Now, next thing I want to show you here that deals with consistency, a little Japanese name card holder, right? Everybody in Japan's got their uh, their name card. Now, the topic is consistency. If I were to hand a different name card to someone every six months, right? they would start to doubt that I am a consistent person, right? especially in Japan. We have a saying in Japan that's called Ishinoe Sanen. Ishinoe Sanen means you stick with what you're doing for at least three years right? before you change to something else. So in this industry, the internet marketing industry, many entrepreneurs are jumping from one opportunity to the next opportunity to the next opportunity. <clears throat> they lack consistency. <clears throat> Therefore, people who begin to follow us, if we start to jump from one opportunity to the next, we're not considered consistent. No one can actually believe what we're telling them, right? So, that's my message for today, is uh, develop consistency, stay consistent. I know I got my little Got my fighting gloves on here, which is uh, a metaphor for 
you know, it's sometimes a, a little bit of a struggle. It's a little, it's a little bit of a fight with ourself, right? Not with others. It's a fight with ourself to stay consistent. Now tomorrow, I'll be uh, doing a topic that begins with D. I haven't really decided what that topic is yet, right? But I'll uh, just follow my inspiration like I have been doing for the last uh, couple of uh, videos here and continue on with this internet marketing struggle along with the rest of you. So until then, see you later. Bye.